Hello everybody and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today we're going to get into one of my two week grocery hauls. I did miss this video a couple weeks back so we're back to it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give it a like, share, subscribe, pass this video around and thank you to my returning and new subscribers. Let's go ahead and get into what we got from Walmart. Starting down here on the floor we have uh, 10 rolls of the Bounty paper towels, the triple rolls because I got people coming into town. I want to make sure that we have plenty of paper towels for everybody, all the kids and everything because things probably will get spilled. It's just kind of a thing that happens with little people <laughs> and when you're cooking so we got paper towels up here on the counter you guys we have a few things for bread we're going to get some other things from like sam's and stuff like that so here are the things we got from walmart we got some garlic bread sticks we've got some chocolate chip waffles to kind of give my son a little bit of a variety he's been eating blueberry waffles the thick and fluffy ones so i got the chocolate chip ones hopefully he likes those i think he did before so Here's open. We have some Texas toast. These are for his PB and J's, which he eats just about every single day. So we got some more of that. You guys have probably figured out by now this has become my new obsession. These Snicker Doodle Cookies. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Got to be more careful because I've been eating too many of them. Anywho, I got three cases of them because I normally get um I run out. Yeah, I've been eating that many, you guys. So I got three of the these are just the Walmart friends snickerdoodle cookies you guys they're really really good so i got i said three of those then over here we have our kids yogurts we have the um strawberry banana for both this one is for our older son kai and this one is for the baby they stick to them really good and they actually really like them so i went ahead and picked up some more of those for them then we have some daisy sour cream this is for cooking you guys so i went ahead and got some more of that because i have some of the squeeze one in the fridge but once i start cooking i start to use this as well so i got some of that then we have some more soft food for our little bitty guy. We have the apple chicken and rice. I got five of those as well as the banana. Um, five of those as well. He's been eating more of the regular food lately as well. Kind of mixing things in. We got bottles, this stuff, and then we also have regular food. So we haven't been buying as much of everything just because we he been eating everything. I mean, he just been trying stuff. Anytime he sees us eating. He wants whatever it is we're eating. He doesn't want the soft food. No, I want whatever's on your plate. So that's what's been going on there. So we have some more of his soft food. On over to the side, I did pick up some things that typically run out before I get the opportunity to get them. So I got some celery, <laughs> bell peppers. That's for something different, but I do use bell peppers when I'm cooking. So I may need to get more of those. We have a red, a green, and a yellow bell pepper, a head of cabbage, Two tomatoes, one is a slicing, one is aroma. Then we have white onion. I have an abundance of red onion, <laughs> but I keep running out of the white onion because my husband, when he cooks, he uses the white onion as well. So I'm probably gonna need to go back and get more of those as well. Then we have some sliced mushrooms, sweet potatoes. I'm gonna make something with sweet potatoes. Didn't have any. And last time I ordered like individual sweet potatoes, I got some of the saddest sweet potatoes I've ever seen in my life. So I just ordered a bag and called it because <laughs> I can't do the little bitty sweet potatoes, man. They, they just don't work out that great. And then we have some mints. This is for our teas that we drink in the morning. We haven't been as on top of it as we usually are. So our mint was going bad. So I went ahead and picked up some more of that. On over here to the side, we have the string cheese. My son loves string cheese. Been going through the string cheese, so I had to get more of that, as well as some butter when I'm cooking. Use butter. I know it's not the healthiest people say, but when you're making some soul food, butter comes in handy. Then we got some candy canes back here. Excuse the syrup on my counter. I think my son did that. But we got some candy canes back here. We have the regular peppermint candy canes and then the blueberry ones. Those are for me. <laughs> Um, I've been doing, I want to do more of a nostalgic Christmas thing and peppermints, but the candy canes got to be on the tree. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got the candy canes. What's going on? So I got two of those and hopefully they don't disappear before Christmas. <laughs> so this section is kind of cluttered over here, you guys. So I'm going to try to make my way, make it my way through. The, okay. We have Twizzlers, two big bags. I laugh because my husband bought me two huge bags, these two big bags of Twizzlers. And I was like, why did you buy me these ginormous bags of Twizzlers? Like, I'm not going to need. I ate both of them within like a week and a half. So, um, got more Twizzlers. Got some of the Red Baron Brick Oven Cheese Pizzas. You know, those are our baby boy's favorite. We also like them too, so works out great. Got four of those. We have some Cool Ranch Doritos as well as two cans of Pringles. Those are our son's favorite little snack when he comes in. He can eat those. He can find them on the shelf really easy. He doesn't need any help. So, he really likes to have Pringles. I'm just gonna try to make my way through here, you guys, best I can. Got a small Velveeta block. 
one of the 16 ounce ones. And then we have some things for that need to run the house and things we're gonna be cooking with. So we have grape jelly, PB and J's, you guys. They go really fast. We have some mayo, as I mentioned to you guys before, when we go and get burgers from places, I don't get any sauces on them because they have not been good to me. Um, I don't trust it. So I got some mayo. I like to put my mayo on when I get home. Elbow macaroni, noodles. And then we also have two cake box cakes, which I jazz up. Um, we have a strawberry cake and a lemon cake. We have some corn syrup, cranberry, jelly cranberry. Some seasonings here. This one is minced onions and then lemon pepper. Um, I've never tried this lemon pepper, so we're going to see. Some pure vanilla extract. And then two things of this um, lemon flavored jello. Back here, we have some self rising cornmeal because I didn't have any cornmeal for some reason. Like I had the, um, before they had like the little circle canisters that look like the grits. And I couldn't figure out why I didn't have the big ones, but it's all good chopped pecans because y'all like i said country i say pecans people say pecans uh-uh pecans pecans i got some pecans uh-huh then we have pie crust now some things like i said i buy early because when you go to buy them um like the week of or at the time of you guys it, it's cleared out so i like to get these early as well i have a regular pie crust this is gonna probably be for the pecan and then this is probably gonna be for like sweet potato or something something a little bit more dip what is that in there why is it in there maybe it's something in there it's gonna get it out i don't know it's weird we gonna see okay so those are the pie crust then i have a family size lasagna sometimes you don't be feeling like cooking okay quick and easy things help when you are a tired mom you hear me so this is one of those things you can just pop in the oven let it cook while you get everything else around you done and dinner's ready just gotta make a couple of extra things on the side whether that's a salad or some green beans or broccoli whatever you want to pull the side okay i got one of these these are usually pretty good so i went ahead and got one of these some crispy takeout wings you guys know these have a hold on our house they're really really good and if you cook them right they're perfect. So I got two bags of those. We got some bacon. We have a rump roast. Okay, y'all, this was right. I remember last time I mentioned, last time I did the grocery video, I mentioned it, I think. Um, but the roast have been tasting a little off to me. I couldn't figure out why. They haven't tasted like my, my grandma and them made it back in, the, back in the gap, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was because I was using the wrong roast. It's this roast. This is the wrong, the one I was supposed to be using. So rump roast. And then I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs always good to have in the fridge. They're just always good to have in the fridge. I like to have some of those. So I got those. Over to the things that are not our food, but our dog's food. Um, I got him different foods this time because I don't want him to get bored eating the same one all the time. So we did get the regular home cooked chicken recipe that we always get him. Then I also got the small one, which is like the little bites, little bitty tiny bite, dog, bite size ones for the little dogs. I know these are normally for the little dogs, but he likes this one. As long as it's soft, my dog is usually pretty good with it. He does not do crunchy food. Can't do it. So I got him that. And then I also got him a little log as well. So he has a variety this time. It's kind of the same, but it's not. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so dog food. And then we have some things for the house. I got some more of these vapor pads. You guys, when we got sick um, a couple weeks back, those things came in handy when it came to um, putting something in the air to help everybody breathe. Um, and we have those warm humidifiers. We have them all over. And so you just slide those little things in the back of it, put some water in it, and it puts out like a warm mist with that in it, with the vapor rub smell in it. So got some more of those because we ran out. Dial, some of the hand soap. I got two more of the antibacterial, just regular gold soap. And then I also got some Lysol laundry sanitizer because I just ran out of one. And the final things that we have over here are smart water. That is for me. I needed to get back on my water intake. I have not been taking in nearly enough. So I got some of those. I also picked up a half gallon of whole milk, some more juicy juice because it's been really good for our sons. So I picked up some more juicy juice as well as the Milo's Famous Sweet Tea, you guys. We really like that one here. It's not overly sweet. Kind of like the Chick-fil-A Sweet Tea. It's more like that where it's not crazy sweet, um, but it's still really good. All right, you guys, we're going to broke out into a glisten. All right, um, so that's everything that we got from Walmart. I'll make sure to show you guys what we get from the other stores when we get back. Hey, y'all. So we are back from Sam's Club. I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that we got from Sam's Club. And then we'll we got the rest. Okay, guys, so down here on the floor, we have two cases of water. I have family coming to town. 
So I need to make sure that I have plenty of water for them this week. Uh, so we got two of the 40 count of the Nestle Pure Life water. I think we still have two in there, but we needed to get some more. And if we run out, we'll go back to Sam's Club. They were kind of low in stock, so we may have to go back and just kind of preemptive strike it you know what i mean we will see also got some bad tissue it takes us so long to go through this stuff you guys so this is why it's my favorite picked up some more of the members mark bath tissue you guys um works great all that good jazz got some of that and then up here on the counter we have some king's hawaiian sweet rolls um i normally get these from walmart but like i said family coming to town might as well get the two go for the two guys okay it's gonna be like 10 of us here so Got that. We have some eggs. Now, I'm going to need to get more eggs because when you're baking and cooking and cooking and baking, you go through a whole bunch of eggs. So, I got an 18 count. I think we have a 12 in the fridge, but I like to have enough. So, I got some more eggs. Those are for my husband, his breakfast burritos. He been trying to find those um, at Walmart and things like that. So, went ahead and picked him up some of those. They're just something that, because, you know, in the mornings, we move around really quickly in the morning, and we're halfway awake, halfway asleep. Um, so it's just nice to have something that we can pop into the microwave or something real fast and eat. So you got that. We have the cutlery. Because when family is in town, y'all, I know I spoke to y'all about the paper plates and the paper cups. And this, listen, who not going to be hosting and cooking and washing all the dishes is your girl, okay? So, <laughs> the only dishes to be clean will be the ones we cook in. And I think I'm about to get some of those tin foil pans that can go in the trash because, uh-uh, no. Last year, I was so tired, y'all. When my family left, I fell asleep, and I think I woke up for like two days. So, got some of this assorted, cut assorted cutlery. So, you got 124, 120 spoons, 120 knives. We won't need that many, so we'll just use them after everybody goes home. We got three things of the lamb chops. My husband likes to grill them. We like to eat them. So we picked up three packs of those. This is also for family. So I like to have an assortment of drinks because we never know what everybody wants to drink. You know what I mean? So we got water, then we have tea, then we'll have some sort of like juice uh, or like a fruit punch or something. And then we'll have something like this or some sprites or something. So this is the uh, winter variety pack, which we've had before and it did not make it. It was something that everybody seems to really like. So I picked up another one of these. So this is the Canada Dry Ginger Ale Variety Pack. You got the regular ginger ale, 12 of those. You have the cranberry ginger ale and then you have the blackberry ginger ale. The blackberry one was my favorite last time. So we got that, 36 cans. It should make it, okay? Never mind, it ain't gonna make it because people gonna be here for more than just, you know, to eat. We're gonna be here for like days before and days after. So we're gonna have to make that thing shake. So we got that. And then we also have our son's pampers because my man's goes through some pampers, okay? My one-year-old, you guys, goes through these pampers like crazy. And I know people are probably like, if you've never seen one of my videos, you're probably like, why is your one-year-old wearing a six and diaper because that's like a big yeah my baby's big he's like the size of a three-year-old so we got him some pampers all right you guys that's everything we got from sam's club i will come back and let you guys see what we get because i think we have to go to one of the other stores like market street or something because we're out of our favorite noodles and the only place that carries them is market street so i'll be back after that all right you guys so this is the last of the stuff that we are going to get for this grocery haul you guys so go through it real quick we got the picante chicken noodles they are the favorite of our house and we are just about completely out of them so i went ahead and picked those up vanilla coke y'all i don't drink coca-cola often i promise i don't but when i do it's a vanilla one okay only a few people will understand this <laughs> it's a thing from college okay college one of my coaches wouldn't let us have soda and when season was over we can have soda and they had just released vanilla coke I only drink them maybe, like I said, maybe once a year, but it's been hard to find them. And I finally found some vanilla Coke. So I got a 12 pack of this um, for me. My husband probably gonna drink some too, but for me. Vanilla wafers. I'm gonna try to make banana pudding. I've never made it before. I'm gonna give it a go and see how I do. Um, if it's terrible, I ain't gonna tell y'all. Um, <laughs> but I got vanilla wafers because I've seen uh, well, my grandma and me used to make them a long time ago. That's what they used was vanilla wafers. And so I went and found some because they sell out so quickly. 
around the holidays. So I went ahead and picked up two boxes of those. And then we have our baby's water. So he still has like two or three jugs left. So I went ahead and picked up seven more gallons of this distilled water from Sprouts because that is the one that he drinks. That is the one that works best for us. And so it's like a dollar and some change. It's really good water. We like it. We like it. So I got the water from Sprouts and I got this stuff from Market Street. You guys, look, this pimple won't let me be great. All right, y'all, that's everything that we got for the next two weeks. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.